Welcome back to SourceFed. I'm Lee Newton. I'm Joe Brennan. Oh, that's fast. Uh. Having trouble conceiving? Think procreation is downright gross? You got a gimp swimmer? Well, don't worry, because pretty soon you won't need your own sperm. You'll have... Robot sperm. Robot sperm. Robot sperm. To an extent. See, researchers at the Institute for Integrative Nanosciences in Dresden, Germany, say that they have created... Robot sperm. Robot sperm. Robot sperm. I'm using finger quotes for just because it's fun. The researchers placed sperm cells within magnetic microtubes and then were able to steer the sperm using magnetic fields and controlled the speed of the sperm by altering the temperature of the environment. Apparently spunk monsters move faster when heated and slower when cold. And I know what you guys are thinking. How do I get my hands on some virile Beretta sperm? No, no. Also, uh, why make robot sperm in the first place? It's right there in the script. Uh, well, that, yeah, that too. Well, researchers say that the microbots may aid plenty of things, not only assisting fertilization, but they may even aid in drug delivery specific areas of the body. And it really does have a lot of fascinating future application ahead of it. You know, aside from that whole baby making thing, think about like animal husbandry and breeding animals, etc. That's the same thing, isn't it? <laughs> Keep it! And until now, the struggle was finding out a way to accurately control a single cell, but the hybrid approach of biological power and a micro device might just make efficient little microsystem spermies. Look, I mean, I'm probably popping out anywhere from 2,000 to 900,000 sperm a day. That's a lot of single cells, so if you're looking to get your hands on some solid grade A Beretta single cell sperm monsters, well, all you have no, to do- No! 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 Okay, one, those numbers are way off, and two, it's weird. It's weird. You're selling- No, it's weird, okay? Those numbers are off. Well, Maybe. I mean, I was just guesstimating. I have no idea how any of this stuff works. I'm, I'm serious. I like, I have kids. I don't know how that happened. I don't know, but there's gotta be a Beretta spur market out there somewhere. Look, it's Christmas. The only reason I'm looking to sell some of this is because I need some extra cash for the holidays. So I figure, why let it go to waste? I'm just gonna do a catch and sell. Okay. So guys, if you had a tiny little robot micro version of you, what would you do for a day? Yeah, I'm asking it. Let me know in the comment section down below. And I'm asking you to please like this video. I'm also asking you to subscribe to the chat, and then I want and, and, and it's gonna bring you to all of the things we do. I'm Joe Beretta. I'm an, uh, mm -hmm. You really wanted to sell, no, we're not buying. I get it, man, the holidays are tough. I couldn't do that. The main reason is that Vince Vaughn movie, the whole yeah. like, he's got 500 kids, blah, 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 blah. I couldn't do that because I, if I found out that I did have kids that I fathered, that I because I think, and they used it, then I would feel so responsible and guilty. Like, I would want to meet those kids. Yeah, and, and I, also no. you'd feel really bad if you thought a lot of them were hot. Yeah.